The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them steadily. See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. The pandemic, COVID-19, has made a lot of people humble themselves, bend their knee, knees before the cross, and said, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have pity on us. Heal our world. And it was the really the painful Christ of the people and through his mercy through his love God never abandons he hears the cries of the people today we celebrate the life and faith of Saint Francis Xavier like the blind man Men in the gospel, St. Francis experienced the personal touch of God and turned from a life of privilege to a life of service. Let us be encouraged by his famous, famous quote, Prayer is powerful, wonderful works have been achieved through prayer and pray that our eyes will also be open. The passage in, the passage in this chapter records the healing of the two blind men. While this is rel relatively short, short narratives, But the importance here is the blindness. It can be both physical blindness or spiritual blindness. Blindness also was a symbolic of spiritual ignorance. Just, just as sight was symbolic of understanding. However, the scripture tells us that the blind, the blind may receive the sight from Jesus, the Messiah. And the two men cried out for mercy from their blindness. They never hesitated, but they followed Jesus. They have faith in Jesus that they will get healed. Jesus probably, they followed Jesus because they probably are aware of his presence in the crowd and they also have heard the news that spread about his healing power. 
by knowing that they cried, Lord, have mercy on us. Son of David, have mercy on us. And this is a clear example that we sometimes cry out when we experience a lot of challenges in our lives. The cry for mercy is very understandable. For it is one of the most basic cries for divine help in the scripture. Mercy can sometimes be translated as idea of grace or of favor. We ask for God's favor, God's mercy. Today we come here bringing our own challenge and ask God to fill us with his mercy, with, with his kindness, with his love and mercy.